have you ever wondered what makes Iceland, a land of extreme contrasts, so unique? Well, to understand this, we need to delve into the geological marvels that shape this Nordic island nation. Iceland, aptly nicknamed the Land of Fire and Ice, is a place where the forces of nature coalesce in the most dramatic of ways. Imagine, if you will, a landscape where roaring, fiery volcanoes coexist with glistening, icy glaciers. A land where the heat of the Earth's core and the chill of the Arctic Circle come together to create a spectacle of contrasts that is as astonishing as it is beautiful. Now let's talk about the ice part of fire and ice. Iceland is home to the largest glacier in Europe, Vatnajökull. This colossal ice cap covers 8% of the country and boasts some of the most stunning ice caves you'll ever see. But don't be fooled by its serene beauty. Beneath the surface, Vatnajökull is a turbulent realm of shifting ice and melting snow, a testament to the relentless force of nature. And then there's the fire. Hekla, one of the most active volcanoes in the world, is right here in Iceland. This fiery giant, often shrouded in an eerie mist, has erupted more than 20 times in the last millennium. Each eruption, a fierce reminder of the raw, untamed power that lies beneath the Earth's crust. But it's not just these individual features that make Iceland so remarkable. It's the way they interact. The geothermal heat from the volcanic activity melts the glaciers, creating stunning lagoons and powerful rivers that carve out the landscape. These geological processes are constantly at work, shaping and reshaping the land, making Iceland a living, breathing testament to the forces of nature. So, the land of fire and ice, it seems, is not just a poetic term, but a fitting description of Iceland's exceptional geological activity. It's a place where the elements are in a constant dance of creation and destruction, giving birth to a landscape that is as strange as it is beautiful, as harsh as it is welcoming, and as volatile as it is enduring. What if I told you that in Iceland there are times when the sun doesn't set, and there are times when it doesn't rise? Sounds like a riddle, doesn't it? But that's exactly what happens in this land of extremes. Iceland is graced with a fascinating phenomenon known as the midnight sun. It occurs because of the country's proximity to the Arctic Circle. When the Earth's axis tilts towards the sun during summer, the North Pole gets more sunlight. And for Iceland, this means daylight around the clock. Can you envision it? The sun still hanging on the horizon at midnight, casting a warm golden hue across the landscape. It's a time when the boundaries between day and night blur, creating endless days that stretch on and on. But then the season shifts, and so does the spectacle. As winter draws near, daylight dwindles rapidly. There are days when the sun barely peeks over the horizon, offering only a few hours of faint, ethereal light. But even in these darkest days, Iceland has a silver lining, or should we say, a multicolored one. Enter the Northern Lights, or Aurora Borealis. These magnificent light displays color the winter skies with hues of green, pink, and sometimes even red and purple. They are caused by charged particles from the sun colliding with the Earth's atmosphere. The particles get drawn towards the poles by the Earth's magnetic field, resulting in this celestial light show. These lights dance and flicker across the sky, creating a mesmerizing spectacle that leaves onlookers in awe. It's a sight that has inspired countless myths and legends, and it's something that's truly unique to these high-latitude regions. So, there you have it. In Iceland, the sun can be your constant companion, painting the world in perpetual day. Or it may retreat, letting the northern lights take center stage, casting a magical glow across the snowy landscape. Imagine a place where you can read a book outside at midnight without a lamp, or witness the sky dancing in vibrant colors. That's Iceland for you.
Have you ever struggled to pronounce a word? Wait until you hear about some Icelandic names. This is a land where the language is as rugged and unique as its volcanic landscape. The Icelandic tongue, it seems, has a fondness for complexity and length. Imagine trying to ask for directions to Eja Fjallajökull, a name that involves a whopping 19 letters and a slew of sounds that don't exist in many other languages. And that's just one example. From Snæfellsjökull to Hafnarfjörður, Icelandic place names are a linguistic marathon, a delightful puzzle for the tongue and mind. The Icelandic language aren't limited to geography. They extend to people's names as well. You see, Icelanders follow a unique naming system that can be traced back to the Vikings. Unlike most Western countries, where people inherit their last names from their family lineage, in Iceland, your last name indicates the first name of your father or mother. Let's take an example. If a man named Jan has a daughter named Anna, she would be Anna John's daughter, which means Anna, daughter of Jan. And if John has a son named Einar, he would be Einar Jansson, or Einar, son of John. This old tradition of patronymic and matronymic naming adds another layer of individuality to the Icelandic culture, binding the present to the past in a continuous thread of heritage and identity. And here's another fun fact. There's an official committee in Iceland, the Menenafnanafand, dedicated to approving new first names. Yes, you heard that right. They ensure that new names are compatible with Icelandic tradition and language. So, if you fancy naming your child something out of the ordinary, you'll have to get it past this committee first. So, if you ever come across a tongue twister of a name in Iceland, remember, it's just a part of their rich linguistic heritage. Every long, complicated name tells a story, carries a piece of history, and adds to the unique charm of this fascinating island. Could you guess which country publishes more books per capita than anywhere else in the world? Let's venture into the literal heart of Iceland, a place where the written word holds an almost sacred place in society. Yes, we're talking about a country that has one of the highest literacy rates in the world. Nearly 100% of its population is literate, a feat that is as impressive as it is inspiring. In Iceland, the love for literature is not confined to just reading. It is a nation that writes and writes like no other. You see, this chilly island has more authors per capita than any other country in the world. It is not uncommon to meet someone on the street who is either a published author or is in the process of writing their first book. The very fabric of the Icelandic society is interwoven with stories, tales, and narratives. This love for literature culminates in an annual tradition called Jola Boka Flood, or the Christmas Book Flood. This is a time when the majority of books in Iceland are published. It's a tradition that dates back to World War II, when paper was one of the few things not rationed. During this period, new books become the gift of choice. The excitement is palpable as people rush to bookstores, carefully selecting books to gift their loved ones, creating a veritable flood of books. On Christmas Eve, Icelanders exchange these gifts and spend the night reading, often while sipping hot chocolate or a festive Yule ale. The Jolabaka flood is more than just an annual event. It's a testament to the importance of literature in Icelandic culture. It's a celebration of stories, a tribute to the power of words, and a reflection of a society that values knowledge, creativity, and the simple joy of losing oneself in the pages of a good book. In Iceland, it seems, everyone can be a storyteller. Do you believe in elves? Well, many Icelanders do, or at least they don't deny their existence outright. Welcome to the mystical world of Icelandic folklore, a realm where the line between reality and fantasy, tangible and supernatural, is delightfully blurred. Here, the tales of elves, or as the locals call them, Huldufalk, meaning hidden people, are as alive today as they were centuries ago. These mythical beings are believed to dwell amongst us, unseen yet 
omnipresent. They're not your typical tiny winged creatures from children's books. Icelandic elves are described as human-sized, beautiful, and clad in old-fashioned clothing. Their homes? They are believed to inhabit the country's diverse landscape, from its lush meadows to its rocky hillsides. In Iceland, the Holdufolk are not just stories to entertain children or to scare them into good behavior. They are deeply woven into the fabric of Icelandic culture and identity. So much so that numerous construction projects over the years have been altered or even halted to avoid disturbing potential elf habitats. A road, a building, or a dam, you name it. If it's believed to be on elf territory, chances are it's going to be rerouted or redesigned. These adjustments aren't made out of fear, but out of respect, a reverence for the unknown. It's a testament to the Icelanders' deep connection with their land, their history, and their heritage. They understand that some things can't be explained by science or logic, and that's okay. They embrace the mystery, the intrigue, and the magic that these tales bring to their everyday lives. So, the next time you find yourself wandering through Iceland's enchanting landscapes, remember to tread lightly. You might just be in the company of the hidden people, the elves of the land. And who knows? An act of respect towards their world might earn you their goodwill. Whether it's out of respect for tradition or a nod to the supernatural, Iceland's belief in elves adds another layer to this already fascinating country.